What's going on guys, I flew him here, it's happy bringing you a brand new video, in this video I'll be trying to show you how to edit a montage on Adobe After Effects. Now, for you new users to editing on Adobe After Effects, it's a really simple um, like software, and you can get it for free, even though it does cost, it's really easy, just look it up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'll just, this is just really easy, um, this is just the basics, I'm not going to show you how to sync up music, that'll be for another video and how to sync up like um, feeds and everything this is how to edit simple screen pump and just a simple like color change just blending and everything so what you want to do is you want to have your clip loaded up onto Adobe After Effects and you just want to grab it from here just drag it down into this little thing here and it should pop up on your screen here as you hear when you scroll through it is a bit blurry and the way you can fix that is just go back there just watch it through and it will just kind of pre-render so you can scroll through without having trouble the trouble of just making it lag because it gets really annoying you're trying to find a certain point you want to edit and it just gets it's just a bit of a hassle so you just watch it through this isn't my trick shot by the way this is someone else's trick shot that was hit online on next gen i did have a last gen clip that i was actually going to do this video on but i decided not to because it did look really bad even though you can't really tell because it doesn't have the best quality in Adobe After Effects, but once you actually render it up and you play it on whatever uh, video player you have, it looks like as clean as how you've recorded it. This is just because I have it on um, quarter. You can have it on basically anything you want. Just put it on quarter because it lets you scroll through a lot better. You'll probably put it on high if you have a better computer than mine, but I simply have mine on quarter. So let's jump into it because we've been going off topic a bit and letting it render. So once you've done all this, you can. Well, you can work on editing the screen pumps. So, you just want to hit S on your keyboard and the scale should pop up. You want to find the point that you want to edit, which is just about here. So, I'm going to move two frames forward. Um, there, looks about good. I'm going to click this little thing next to the scale, this little icon, little clock looking thing. I want to go forward a few frames. I reckon there looks about good when he just gets the hit marker or not hit marker, gets the kill. And then you want to just come to this little bit where you put, can put the size up and down. And you just want to drag it uh, forward till it, you think it looks about good. Like, because this is only going to be a free split second, so it's not going to stay like this, so it's not going to be all weird. And once you've done this, you just want to go forward a few more frames, like one, two, maybe, when he gets the kill there. And you, want to, you can simply just drag it back down to you see the um, frames made up. Now that has a black line, so it, it's a bit too small. You want to make sure you get it right on, otherwise it's going to screw up the video for the rest of the um, frames all here. So now I'll just play it through for you guys. I'll do it frame by frame first. Now you see there, looks really nice. Sorry about the mouse clicking. <laughs> And I just let it play through for you quickly. Like so, it looks quite nice. Land to the water. And so, pretty much now what we're going to be doing is editing the uh, kind of theme of the background, like a little overlay to make it look a lot nicer. So, when you come over here, you want to come up to layer, you want to click new, come across here, go down to adjustment layer. Then an adjustment layer should pop up, you want to click on it, like so. You want to come down here and you want to hit glow, glow, and then click on this. I'll just move it back up so we are able to see it a bit better. Like, ooh. yeah. So I'll just use this frame. If you see here, it looks a bit more like a montage now. You can play around with this. I'm just gonna move it a little bit just for time's sake. I'm only just showing you how to do all this. I'm not going to decide what you're going to do for you. It depends on what map you're using or whatever you're doing. I just like it around about these settings here. So next you want to come back over here and type in curves. And you want to come down here and it's right here. Now this is up to you as I said before. That is a little bit dark. You can fix it by doing this. Oh, that's a little bit light. Um, Yep, that looks that good. I'm gonna come down to red. Go there. There, looks that good. Come to green. Go there. I'm gonna leave it like that. 
I like the color of that. Maybe just bring it up a little bit, like so. And then come down to the blues, and you want to click above it. And then, yeah, it looks a bit weird. I'm just going to drag it back up to the middle, like that. And you can move the adjustment layer to where the pump is. I just need to go through frame by frame and see where it is. So it's about there. I'll drag it just through to sync it up with the pump. And as you see here, I'll just play it completely through. It's just playing from where I've just done it, so just mind that it needs to go through. And it does look really nice. It does look a little bit better than just what your normal kind of looking one, just normal gameplay footage looks like. It looks a lot nicer. See here, boom. Uh, I'll play it through after this. Alright. So it runs up. Green pump and it changes colour. Looks really nice. Boom. It's really simple as well. Does not take too much effort. You could do this for all your clips. This is what I did for my montage. Um, I added a few extra things just to look at it a little bit nicer, like the um, motion tracking and everything. I could teach that for another video. The reason I'm doing this is instead of a cause UV is simply because I'm not at my setup right now. I'm somewhere else so if you just mind that call duty video will be up to either later today or tomorrow depending on get around to a new video so yeah hope you guys enjoy drop a like as always for this tutorial um tell me if you want me to make more of these this just comes ties in with my photoshop series which i'll still be doing so yeah hope you guys enjoy drop a like as always it's been me i flew see you guys next video peace